Today we have a story of Mrs. Pena, Mrs. Pena's Baklava by Grace Allen. How can helping others make you feel good? Mrs. Pena loved her job. She was secretary of Bridgewater School. Bridgewater School. Her office was always messy, but she liked to look out at the river through her window. It was very pretty. Her, her office is very messy, but she likes her work. One day, Mrs. Pena was trying to tidy the mess in her office. Her door was open and she, was, she saw the principal talking to some students. Here we have the principal talking to some students. This is the year we get computers, Principal Lynn said Nadia. The girl clapped her hands with excitement. This is the year we, uh, we get computers, Principal Lynn said. The girls clapped her hands with excitement. Oh, I'm sorry, girls, said the principal. I'm afraid there will be no computers this year. We had to fix the roof, and now all the money is gone. There's nothing left in the budget, unfortunately. But Principal Lin said, Muna, you promised, I know, and I am sorry, maybe next year. The girl said, but Principal Lin, you promised. I know. And I'm sorry. Maybe next year. Oh, they are very sad here. They want, they want computers. The girls came into Mrs. Pena's office to say hello. A new school year, said Mrs. Pena. Are you excited? Yes, said Muna. But I wish we were getting computers. She seemed very disappointed. She is very disappointed here. And then what happened? Let us see. If we had computers, said Nadia, I could type out this story I wrote for you, Mrs. Pena. She handed the secretary a page with a story written in a blue link. So Nadia has a story. She has a story in her hand, and she wants to type it on the computer. Then, it's about a farmer who has a horse, said Nadia. The horse tries to hit a fly with his tail, but he hits the farmer by mistake. The farmer isn't angry, so he runs after the fly with his hat to help the horse. It's a funny story. It's a funny story, Mrs. Chena chuckled. <laughs> it's a funny story, thank you. At home, Mrs. Pena was staring at her cup of tea. She has a cup of tea and she was staring. She was staring at the cup. She told her husband about the computers. I wish I could help. But I don't know how. Maybe you could sell something, said Mrs. Pena, Mr. Pena, her husband. But I don't have anything to sell. Hmm, her husband thinking. Oh, I wish I could help you. She repeated, ding. She said, ding. The timer on the rank. Of, on the olden rang and the timer rang, ding. She, what did she do? Oh, here she's staring on her cup 
and her husband said, maybe you could sell something. She said, what to sell? That's it, cried Mrs. Bennett or Mr. Bennett. You could sell your baklava. The money could go to the computer fund. Mrs. Pena took the tray out of the oven. It was very hot. Would you people pay for my baklava? She asked. Of course, her husband said. It's the best baklava in the world. He said, you may sell your baklava and the fund go to the computers. Would people pay for my baklava? She asked. Of course, her husband said. It's the best baklava in the world. He took one from the tray and popped it in his mouth. It was so hot. And it burned his, it burned him. Oh, he said, waving his hand. Wait until they are cool through. Mrs. Pena laughed. Ha, 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 ha. She said, and here her baklava is very delicious. Mrs. Pena made lots and lots of baklava. She cut in, into squares. Squares, had, these are squares. She cut them, but cut the baklava into squares. And, uh, but she also made triangles and circles. She made triangles, triangles, here is the triangle. Circle like that, circle, circle, square, triangle. So she brought them into the lunchroom at school. Would anyone like to buy some baklava, she said three for the piece of two. She sits in the classroom, in her in the office, and said, uh, with lunchroom, she sat in the lunchroom, and said, would anyone like to buy some baklava? Three, three for the price of two. I'll give you three for two. You pay for two and I'll give you three. And, hmm, said Nadia, these are delicious, Mrs. Pena. May I have two more squares, one, square ones? I like the circle ones, said Muna. They taste better, but they are all the same. <laughs> they taste the same, Nadia said. No, said Muna, the circle ones taste better. Mrs. Pena laughed. Very soon there was no baklava left. They ate all the baklava and she sold all her baklava. Oh dear, Mrs. Pena said, I'll have to make twice as much as much tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. She means to make twice times as much as tomorrow, as today, for tomorrow. Are you making more tomorrow? Asked Nadia. Yay! Make more circles, one, please. Please, Miss Muna, make circles. Please make square, please, please. Mrs. Pena's baklava was very popular now. No matter how much she made, it always ran out. Finished, yeah. Finished, run out, finished. It's better than my grandmother's, said a little girl called Fatima. But don't tell her I told you so. And uh, here we have the next morning, Principal Lane knocked on Mrs. Pena's door. Mrs. Pena said, I heard you. I heard you are selling baklava, Mrs. Pena. She said, I heard you are selling baklava to the children at lunchtime. Yes, Mrs. Pena said, it's going very well. The children are even buying some to bring home every day. Mm, I'm glad they like it so much. But I am a little worried. Worried, 
she was worried. The principal is worried because this is not a good thing at school, she said. But it's for this, uh, she said. I don't think the school secretary should be selling things to the children during school time. But it's for the school. What do you mean? What do you mean for the school? Mrs. Pena opened a drawer in her desk, opened a drawer, and took out a blue box. She has a blue box. Took the blue box. She handed the principal, she handed it to the principal. She gave it to the principal. Look at the box. This is your computer fund, she said. The principal opened the box. It was full of money. This is wonderful, she said. It will go straight into the school account. Now we can get the computers the girls need it. Oh, she's happy now because she saw the money. Yeah. She's going to buy computers for the school. At the end, what do we have? One week later, the principal took Mrs. Pena to see the computer lab. There were dozens of shiny new computers. The girls clapped when the secretary came in. We received these computers because of you, Mrs. Pena. Thank you, Mrs. Pena. Thank you, Mrs. Pena. Thank you, Mrs. Pena. All the students say, thank you, Mrs. Pena. She handed the secretary a piece of paper. She gave her a piece of paper in a frame. It was her funny horse story. She had typed it on a new computer. Oh, they have new la computer lab. Look at the lab. Lab means laboratory, special room for computers. So she typed the story. Nadia typed the story on the computer, and they are very happy because Mrs. Pena had a good idea. Thank you, students. Appreciate it.